Brandon Gormley for Oscar Sundquist in a third. That's going to be a no. It's going to be a no. But we march. We move. We march. I'm not trading OEL. It, especially not right now. If we do trade OEL, it'll be to Vancouver for a lot. <laughs> this is the way. Buffalo really wants our first rounder this year, too, which is funny. Uh, don't need that particular trade either. Just a whole lot of declining trades. We are 16, 17, and 2 at the moment. I bought Britney Spears' book. You would crash, wouldn't you? And how how is it so far? Have you started it? Is Do you think it's going to be good? What do you hope she talks about? Because allegedly she talks about Justin Timberlake being a terrible person. <laughs> BJ Crombean for Merrick Krivik. And Daniel Walcott, basically two guys who are not going to make it at all. Um, Crombean. I'm going to keep Crombean. I don't want to take up the roster spot. And also Crombean has uh, a better cap situation for us. So that is pretty straightforward. All-star breaks coming up too. 17, 19, and 2 is our record right now. So we are under 500. We're not as bad as I was hoping we'd be. But we are pretty ungood. Pretty, pretty ungood. Okay, maybe I should have been a little bit more specific with trades, but hey. Okay, that I'll take. Crombean for Chris Pronger's dead cap. But two fourth round picks. We'll take. I mean, it's what happens. I will gladly take on the Chris Pronger cap hit for fourth round picks. You got it, Philly. Thanks for the uh, the cap space. I desperately needed to take on. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> now I just need Pavel Datsuk to be offered to me. That's it. Kanye in a third for Eliash. No. Bodker and Erat. So what I'm going to do is after the All-Star break, we will narrow in the block a little bit to stop getting so many offers that I'm going to decline. Uh, Joe Vitale for Reed McNeil, a fifth, and Jaden Lindo, who's not signed. I'll take that. I mean, Joe Vitale is just a, a bottom sixer. So it's a player, a prospect, a pick. And Joe Vitale's off to Pittsburgh. Back to Pittsburgh. Uh, Jan Pava Laplante and Dyson Mayo for a sixth and a seventh. That's a yes. Two guys who aren't going to make it. Right as I said I was going to change the block, I start getting offers that I'm actually really interested in. Go figure. Go figure. Not trading OEL and Hans altogether. Not too worried about that. Hansel and more. A lot of teams want Martin Hansel. And we are actually beyond the All-Star break. That was Michael Bunting, and he is rated terribly in this game. So we are 19-23-5 just after the All-Star break. We are in sixth in our division. Not last, because that's the Oilers. In the grand scheme of things, Minnesota is the number one team right now. We are currently 26th. So we are a bottom five team, but Carolina, uh, Edmonton, Detroit, and Buffalo have been worse than us so far. So we definitely have room to be worse. But I don't know if we'll be able to be bad enough. And again, for those that missed it, normally I use the team that finished in last, but for the second game in a row, it would have been Buffalo, so we used the team that finished second last, which happened to be the Coyotes, just to get a different experience. So, in terms of our surplus, granted the star potentials are still there, but we'll go a medium 
on that front. Actually, no, we won't because that's surplus. Our surplus is literally anybody. You send the right deal, I'll consider it. In terms of our wants, maybe it is worth just leaving it open, though, because those last trades were two dudes for picks. But then again, the, the picks will still be there for wants, so that's fine. Uh, we want younger players. If you're giving us anything back. We are going to want younger players, just like last time, like we did a lot in Buffalo. We want some players that can potentially be something here. Because we, we know with this Coyotes roster, we're going to have to take a very, very similar slow and steady approach. I mean, with every team, that's what we're going to have to do. I mean, this is just a series of rebuilders, but rebuilders are fun. And then for goalies, we already have one good goalie in Mark Vizentin as a prospect. But if we can find another, that'll be worth it. I still can't believe that trade compare feature. That is awesome. No idea that even existed. On the block as well. I mean, Shane Doan never wanted to get traded. But we got to try to find a, a move for Shane Doan if we can. Martin Erat is a veteran. And uh, from there, Chris Phillips will be acquired in the middle of the season. And again, we still haven't looked at the prospects in the game yet. That I am excited for. But let's keep it going. Whoops. Trying to get refamiliarized with this menu system compared to the 360 era. Easier said than done. I think they thought it looked fancy, but I can't say that it looks better. <laughs> Definitely can't say it looks better. Ekman Larson for a first and Josh Manson. No. Not going to happen. Hansel for two seconds. No. It's going to be a first. Hansel. Ooh. The Ducks first next year, and Josh Manson. I'm going to say no to that. If I'm going to trade Hansel, I need to know it's going to be a good return. Mike Smith for a second, a third, and underrated UC Soros. I was not expecting to get a trade offer for Mike Smith. Again, Smith is 32, is an 85. He is a very solid goalie. They underrated Soros by potential, but his overall is great for a 19-year-old. Soros' weakest ability is his ability to poke check, which isn't surprising. Smith has the really good passing. I mean, Smith has four years left after this at 5.6. Maybe Rene got hurt, and that's why they want him, or maybe the AI is just dumb. I'm going to take it. I mean, it's a chance to get rid of Mike Smith. We get two second round picks as a result and UC Saros. It makes us worse for now. I'm going to take it. Mike Smith on his way to the Nashville Predators. I really did not expect to get a trade offer for Smith this early. Uh, but that was one that I just couldn't say no to. How good is Brendan Gounts? I know he's got a good potential. But how good is he? 73 overall, 20 years old. I believe it's a medium top six. A fifth and a second. Fifth this year, second next year. I mean, Gounce certainly helps us get younger. It is true I've been offered a first for Hansel. I'm going to say no. That was tempting, though. See, Ekman Larson in the third. Dude, the Ducks want OEL so badly. So, so badly. So we continue to lose games. One and three in the aftermath of the Smith trade, and now three and three. Hansel for Gowns in the second. Yeah, the Canucks really want Martin Hansel right now. Some of the other teams have backed out. Jared McCann in the second. That I'm also going to say no to. Uh, Jaden Lindo for two six. That's uh, six. That's, that's a no brainer. Mid prospect who isn't even signed. Ruslan Fedotenko for a fourth and Nate Schmidt. That's a yes. Welcome in, Nate Schmidt. 
Love me some Ruslan Fedotenko, but still. Hey, we're coming up on my birthday in 2015. Happy 21st. I sat in a restaurant and ordered a beer. <laughs> Didn't even finish it. Uh, Hansel for a first and Saku Manalainen. Also going to say no to that. Again, we don't have to deal Hansel right now. Bodker for Gounts in a second. Ooh. I'm going to say no to that, too. I'm going to say no to that, too. 24, 33, and 5. Deadline's coming up. We know our trade block is good. Bodker for Carrick in a second's not going to cut it. Now, did they get rid of anything for deadline day? John Moore in a third for Valentin Zekoff and two fourths. So Moore is 24, Zekoff 19 and a 70. We give up a third from Chicago and they give up two fourths. Wow, Zekoff already has NHL level shot power. He's on his ELC. Moore's going to get paid. Honestly, I'm going to take this. I'm a little bit surprised, but I think I'm going to take that. And we're going to see if we can get Zekoff to develop in this reality. And uh, I don't believe there's a trade. This was the time where the trade deadline just stopped being a thing. Well, maybe we go a little bit hands on or we just say that's it. We are out of the era of a trade deadline minigame for the next, like, seven years. <laughs> oh, what great times. What great times. Um, you know, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. It is what it is. We've made the trades. I'm just going to leave it because I saw Nick Ritchie available and other moves like that. There's just going to be too many potential moves. I don't want to get caught being like, all right, let me just go get the bet. Like, let's just leave it. You know, we elected not to trade Hansel. That's okay. We'll be able to move him at the draft. But yeah, the fact is, again, I knew in playing this version over the 360 version that we were going to lose some features and that this wasn't as good of an experience. But at the same time, memes are very, very important to us on this channel. And there is perhaps no greater meme than this video game. NHL 24 is giving it a run for its money, but 24 is technically a better game than this. Make no mistake, it is. Maybe how, by how much, that's up to you, but it is technically better. Buy packs, though, yes. Always buy packs. Always, always. All right. Why is 15 considered a meme? It was a horrible, horrible bare bones game at launch. It was missing a lot. The dev team simply could not handle um, the demands of making a game for a new console at the same time as still supporting the old one. So, camera potentially. Potential to play the old version. 30, 46, and 6. Your Arizona Coyotes in our first season with the team. Let's see how we did. League-wide. Chicago wins the President's Trophy. Yes, and we manage. Oh, my God. Buffalo. Holy hell. Did the Sabres catch fire? But we have the top lottery odds. The Devils 29th, Carolina, Detroit, and Edmonton, your bottom five. We end up with the best odds. Did it not have East Short Lance? Wasn't it just OTP? Correct. Correct. Fun times. Fun times. Let's see. Let's look at the boys here. So, Mikhail Bodker, 64 points. 60 for Shane Doan. Hopefully, we can move him at the draft if he doesn't retire. So we acquired Sam Gagne. Or, no, we acquired Horkoff. We got a we got a couple of former Oilers on this team. That's for sure. Yeah, this, uh, this team wasn't very good. 
OEL, 57 points, but a minus 33. Good lord. We ended up playing Chris Pronger, because <laughs> again, they didn't nuke the overalls enough at the time. UC Saros recorded a point, but had an 887 save percentage. Mike McKenna had a 921 in 37 games played. Shout out to Mike McKenna. Did pretty well. Around the league, your leading point getter with 80 points. It was a tie, but technically it's Anze Kopitar. You also had Eric Stahl, Claude Giroux, and then Alexander Ovechkin and Patrick Sharp rounding out the top five. Your top goal scorers, Ovi with 53. 43 for Thomas Vanek, 42 for Patrick Sharp, 39 for Rick Nash, and 38 for Corey Perry. Defensively, the leading point getter was Eric Carlson. He was also the top goal scorer. Then you had James Wisniewski, P.K. Subban, Oliver ekman Larson, and Duncan Keith. The goaltenders. Oh, my. Two goalie goals, Frederick Anderson and Jonathan Bernier. Okay. Shutout leader with 12 was Jonathan Quick. Bobrovsky and Crawford each hit double digits as well. And the top save percentage for a starter was Jonathan Quick with a 937. So shout out to uh, Vesna winning Jonathan Quick. For the rookies, your leading point getter with 66, Johnny Gaudreau. You also had Mike Hoffman, Philip Forsberg, Jonathan Drouin, and Mark Stone, among others. I don't know if this will be as good of an era for goalies winning the Calder, but Andre Vasilevsky was in the hunt. Peter Morazic, Jake Allen, among others. So there you go. A look at season one for the boys. We'll see who wins the old championship. I will say, is there? I, do I want to use the word regret for using this version? No, I don't. It's the inferior version. It's a meme. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. It'll be fine. Wait until we get that that first playoff game, the NBC presentation that we could have gotten on the previous game, but it looks better on this one. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll see who wins the Stanley Cup in 2015. 2015. Regret's fine, but we're still rocking it, basically. Just because we regret it doesn't mean we're backing out and going home. We're fine. Are fine. Who will win the Stanley Cup in 2015? Who's it going to be? I may hate Boston, but I love the jerseys. The jerseys look great. I was surprised. I was surprised, but I really, really did uh, enjoy it. The Pittsburgh Penguins, again, because the AHL doesn't exist in this world. The Pittsburgh Penguins have won the Stanley Cup a year early in 2015. Again, the fact that in this franchise mode, the AHL just ceases to exist is ridiculous. Pittsburgh wins in seven over Calgary. The bracket looks nice. <laughs> That's one of the positive things you can say. Hey, the bracket looks nice. And the, and the again, the bowl. It goes to Pittsburgh. Let's take a look at the awards here. We already know what Pittsburgh looks like, basically. In terms of the player awards, the Art Ross to Anze Kopitar. The Hart Trophy to Jonathan Quick. The Norris to Eric Carlson. Bing to Giroux, the Calder to Johnny Gaudreau. Con Smythe, Mark andre Fleury. The Vesna to Jonathan Quick. Jennings to Elliott and Allen. Chris Phillips won the Masterton. The Selkie to Pavel Datsuk, Ted Lindsay to Jonathan Quick, and Rocket Richard to Alexander Ovechkin. And that is it for the awards, because we literally can't check the AHL. <laughs> I don't remember if there's a lottery screen here. It might just be, hey, you're at the draft now. Have fun, kid. 
Are there player retirements? That's the big question. Nope, we're just at the draft. Nothing about retirements? Do I have to go to this screen? Uh, no, Nothing about retirements. Well, Marty St. Louis retired. That's it. Fuck everybody else. Marty St. Louis retired. So players will just disappear. <laughs> we have no idea if Shane Doan retired or not. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. Hey, we have the first overall pick. You'll love to see it. And we have a timer. Imagine. Imagine, imagine. Um, shit. Well, let's uh, call a timeout and take a look at players that are available. We haven't gotten a trade offer, and obviously we're going to make this pick. So let's see the 2015 draft. Led by Connor. Oh, my God. So we have Connor McDavid showing up as franchise. Matt Barzal showing up as franchise in the top left. His potential scouting-wise says otherwise, but that's their projection. Not even top five franchise player. There's Dylan Strom, also projected as a top five. Alexi Sarela, who did not... I told you, it was a great year for Finns. Nick Waugh, future Stanley Cup champion, Nick Waugh. Travis Konechny, or as TBC called him, Konecki. Uh, Nick Merkley, also first round projected. Philip Schlappick, that didn't work out well either. Mitchell Marner, the hair for Mitch Marner. Adam Musel. Julius Nottinen, another Finn. Dennis Morgan, Leafs legend. Tyson Bailey, still hanging around. Nathan Noel was already down to second round projection. There is also Arupe Hints, Mike Winther, uh, Hannes Bjorninen. Interesting. Alex Overhart. What the fuck are these projections? I'm so confused. Oh, it's just for center. That's why. That's right, because there's no forward sorting. Oh my god. All right. Well, left wings. Jesus. Dennis Jan. Dimitro Timoshoff. This game's fucking with my head. Paul Bittner. Top 10 projection. Pavel Zaka. Ruins legend. There's not a skater sorting, though. No. Adam Marsh. Lawson Kraus. Uh, Jesse Gabriel. Former Bruin. Stanislav Konachev. Kale Olasson, Roy McKenzie, Alexa Kondraty of Blake Clark, Ryan Gropp, future Ranger, Yanni Tamela, Yoel Keviranta, totally Spanish, Yakov Trenin, Christian Gilson, Joey Iliakis, Alexei Mustanen, Michael Hughley, Jordan Ty Fournier, Yusei Antonin. And Evgeny Svechnikov for the third round. Right wing side is Nikita Korostelev. Uh, Daniel Sprong with a 240p fidelity picture. Devin Sidorov, former Duck. Jens Luke, the lock. Uh, Mike Brodziak, generated dude. Mike Martinez, generated. Gabriel Gagne, former Sen. Yuso Ikenen, Kay Shuari, former Shark, Cameron Askew, former Maine Mariner, and Nick Yonkman. Uh, defensively, apparently franchise level Nick Mellock. Oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> Oliver <laughs> Killington, the Shillington, the Shillington. So out the spicy Italian foot long, by the way, seven months on the primer. Appreciate you. I am Pilon. Austin Strand. Jakob Zaborl, don't do it, Don. Vince Dunn, no picture. Gustav Borman. The draft definitely looks better, though, in terms of dudes who were relatively projected up there. I do wonder how different it would have been from launch rosters, though. You know, they did have information to go off of closer to the draft. 
Jeremy Waugh, Stefan LeBlanc, <laughs> Travis Dermott, the legend. Ruslan Ponikarovsky, Philip Perakta, Matt Spencer, rebuilding hockey town legend. Nazarov, Terrence Fenton, Stephen Vitale, Jack Pody, all these generated dudes. Von Proveroff, not a legend. Brandon Carlo, a legend. Carl Dahlstrom. I want to go at least up to the beginning of the third round. We're not going to run out of time. We're fine. We have three minutes left. Chill out. That's why I called the timeout. I, I would like to think people would think that I know what I'm doing at this point, but apparently not. And then the goalies. Uh, wow, that's quite the drop-off, huh? Jesus. Uh, but for goalies, Austin Lotz. Julio Bilia, Tony Eskalainen, and Nick McBride. All right, and obviously we'll look at other players a bit later on. Uh, there is only one dude that we can take. I mean, yes, there are other guys here who are listed as, like, franchise projected, which is hilarious. There's fucking five of them. But, uh... We got to do it. It's Connor McDavid. I got a chance to take Connor McDavid. Even if I'm like, hey, let's not use McDavid again because we just used him. People will be like, oh, you should have taken McDavid. Um, so, yeah, that, that first pick, Mitchell Marner. <laughs> Perfect. We're taking Connor McDavid. He's the guy. It's Connor freaking McDavid. We're taking him, even if our guys didn't scout him. Uh, we will sim to our next user pick, which is later in the first round. Let's see how the rest of the round is played out. We didn't bother trying to trade up. So Matt Barzell goes second in New Jersey. Melloc to the Hurricanes. Detroit took Jan. Shillington to Edmonton. Austin Strand to Florida. Pilon to the Leafs. Dylan Strom is a shark. Saboral to the Avs. Tim Shop to the Sabres. Sorrell on the move. Connect me to Vancouver. Borman, Lawson Kraus, Vince Dunn is a hab, Zaka to the Ducks, Schlopik to the Bruins, and then Sprong. All right, so who's still on the board for us here? Who is still on the board? Mitch Marner! <laughs> Let's go. Mitch Marner, Nick Merkley. Gabriel, Konichev, Devin Cedaroff, LeBlanc. Oh, Mitch or Travis Dermott? I it's it's gotta be Travis Dermott. It's gotta be. It's Travis fucking Dermott, the goat, the absolute goat. This way we get help of both forward and defense. Do I have another pick? Oh, we have back-to-back -back picks, baby. I didn't even know. Let's go. <laughs> it worked out perfectly. Mitch Marner, welcome to the desert. And then Travis Dermots, welcome to the desert. That, that was perfect. I didn't even have to do anything. Didn't even have to do anything. When's our next pick? Will we have a trade offer before that? No, we won't. So it's way down in the second. R. DeSantis, excuse me. <laughs> right of sanctimonious. Um, I will double check where everybody goes after this. Let's just focus on making these picks here, right? And again, pretty much if I don't get trade offers, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, so, oh, Ty Bailey is still there. First to second round projection. Rupe hints is still there as well. It's got to be hints over Bailey right now. Uh, Olasen, Kiviranta. I'd still go with Rupe Hints right now. Right side, Brodziak, Ikan, and Gagne. Ooh, Brandon Carlo. Brandon Carlo. How much of a Bruins fanboy am I? I'm 
I'll take repents. <laughs> we'll do it. Do I have another pick coming up? I don't. All right. This is what it is. This is what it is. Third round. Who do we have? Who do we have available to us in this third round? Alex Beret Boulay. Let's see. If we look at the third to fourth round projections, Matthew Joseph. Christopher Lalancet. Christoph Lalancet. Trevor Cox. Mateo Genero. Left wing side. We have Matt Rupert. Mike Davies. Riley Sheen. Grayson Palenchuk. <laughs> Matthew Takach. <laughs> Grayson Palenchuk. Oh, I wish Gilbert was still here. I'd get him to say this name on <sighs> on video for ten bucks. Uh, Evgeny Savetchnikov is there. Right wing side, Matt Luff, Jimmy Keefe, Pavel Skumatov, Rick Youngman, Evan Wanger, and then defensively, let's see. Get ended to say it. I mean, that's the closest I can get right now, yeah. Aaron Bassin, Doug Blaisdell, Sergey Boykoff, Ola Havlid, Matt Murphy, Jesse Sabin, Sam Ropp, Rasmus Anderson, Philippi Burroble, Oliemanen and Marcus Crawford, also Rutledge at the very top. Timo Myers there. I know, I was saying, I was looking at people... I know, I know, and Zach Senishin's there, too. Are we in the fifth round? No, we're not. Be fucking patient. I know it's impossible for Chad to do it, but try. For me, for your old pal Toogie, try to be patient for fucking once. Once ever. Thank you. Anyway, uh, I did want to take a look at these goalies really quickly. Who were uh, un uh, not projected to be drafted? I just wanted to know if there was anybody interesting here. Jason Rue, Storm Fanuff, finally gets a picture. Is there anybody of note? Alex Moody's there again. This is not Sam Montembeau. Okay. Michael McNiven, all the Habs greats. Blade Man Dixon. Oh, Blade Man Dixon. Peyton Lee. Kevin Lankinen. All right. I mean, there, there are some familiar names. Fair enough. <laughs> that is such an unfortunate last name in 2023. That is, that is very, very unfortunate. Uh, Devin Williams, Jackson Whistle, Daniel Wapple, Ludovic Weber, Bruins legend in franchise mode for me at least. Carl Vamelka? All right. Bradley Van Schubert. Th there are quite a few familiar names in goal. Logan Thompson. I can't. Steven Taylor. I can't imagine any of these guys are actually any good. Given the fact that they're not projected to be drafted. Julius Sen. But uh, it's still fun to see who is here. Uh, because there's a lot of them. A lot of them. Shout out to Jeremy Brodeur. And the bow. Mackenzie Blackwood. The one, the one person with the picture. That's a uh, Capo Kakadin also there. Dude, there's a lot of freaking goalies. Connor Ingram. All right. Well, hey, we know that there are notable goalies. Um, who are we going to go for here? Well, we're talking, you know, third, fourth round. If we go for a defenseman, it's Rasmus Anderson. If we go for a forward... Honestly, nobody really kind of jumped off the page for me. Matthew Joseph. Look at fourth round. Matt Highmore is there. Nobody insane, though. Left wing side. 
Honestly, it might be worth going off the board and taking uh, Timo sooner rather than later. Does he have a picture? He does. Timo Meyer. And the Bruins goat, Zach Senishin. Uh, let's let's go for Rasmus Anderson. Why not? We'll go for Rasmus Anderson. Get another hopefully half decent defender in on this team. First pick of the fourth round. This will be Timo Meyer. We will select him now, just to make sure we end up with him right before the Devils picked as well. Apparently, the, the Oilers finally found a trade for Andrew Ference. They moved to the Nashville. We have another pick in the fourth round. Let's see. Who do we have here that's still projected to be drafted? Um, I will have to call a timeout. I just want to see everyone who's projected to be drafted. Luke Philp. Anthony Salaturo. Anthony Sorelli. All right. Anthony Sorelli. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark down that name really quickly. I'm going to mark down that name. Pia Suter, I mean, also a familiar name. It takes a rally over him. Blake Spears, they loved him in follow-up games. It just didn't work. Alex Fortan. Gabe Gertler. The Gertler. Max St. Cyr. Ronson. Jay Merkley. Kurt Ishigari. The original buyer. Alex Goulet. Fox, and yeah, like Matt Highmore. So, I mean, nobody nobody too crazy to draft here. Let's go pause. That way I can get a bit of a short list. Call timeout, I guess. Same thing. That way I can get a short list. Left wings. Who is projected to be drafted at this stage? Hello, all text, by the way. Uh, let's see. Connor Rankin. Jam J it's not even Jamin. It's Jimon. I don't make the rules. Bradley, Anthony DeLuca, Watson, Graham Knott, Coda Gordon. Coda, okay. The legend Rehard Bukarts. Was that Sebastian Ajo I saw? He might have been in the not projected to be drafted category. Kind of like this guy. Well, that didn't age well. Trust me, we'll be looking at the undrafted list. Don't worry. And then right wing side. Hayden Hodgson. Well, Bushnell. America Zichka. Senishin. Carter Hansen. Matt Luff. A Scott? Charlie Grosskamp. I mean, I feel like for the memes, I have to fucking take Senishin and win a Stanley Cup. <laughs> and then defensively, who do we have here? Again, only starting with players that are projected to be drafted. Then we'll look at the undrafted. Got the Mitch Vandesampel. For Connor Schlitting. Johnny Tulola. Lawrence Pyle. I mean, he became, you know, became a player. He doesn't quite have the crazy name. Robin Norell. Off Backstrom, Chaz Redekop. Look at the hair. Look at the eyebrows. What a man. Michael Aircom, Trevor Murphy, Travis Brown, Luke Levier, Ethan Bear. Ethan Bear in the fifth round. Bradley Lawn, Parker Watherspoon, an enforcer. Generated enforcer. Josh Thrower. That I hope he decided the mustache wasn't for him because it's not. Jarrett. It's not Jarrett, it's Jarrett. <laughs> From Montgomery, Alabama, Jarrett Smith. Locke Morrison. <laughs> What's your name? That's no, Lake. Bradley Reagan. Will Thompson. Jason Bell. Justin. I feel like he's missing a letter. I feel like they fucked up that guy's name. Right? Like an A or an E has to be missing. Sergey Boykoff. Okay. Yeah, there aren't too many guys where I'm like, yeah, I totally want to take them with this next pick. Um, let's go defense. And we're going to take uh, Ethan Bear. 
Gonna take Ethan Bear. We have back-to-back -back picks. Lemke is correct. What the fuck? That's weird. <laughs> Sorry, that's just weird. Uh, we're taking Zach Senishin because I said so. Sim to our next pick. Also in round four. This is where we'll take Anthony Sorelli. And then we will start looking for dudes that uh, weren't projected to be drafted. Did I miss Sorelli? No, there he is. Even if he's trash, I'm taking him anyway. All right. So let's start browsing the list. Sim to our next pick, which wasn't that far away. We use both timeouts here. You have to 13 minutes now to just browse the draft board and see who's here. See if there's anybody that we wanna wanna pick up here. Everett Clark, Kelly Klimo was there. I do have to move through this relatively quickly, as I'm sure you understand. There's a lot of dudes to look through. But, uh, shout out to Garrett Huey. Got to see if there are any fun names where, in this game, they're just going to be terrible, but we're going to take them anyway. We know that Miko Rantanen's out there already. It's good. Steven Lawrence? I mean, he became an NHLer. Cisco Velarde, Colin Mercer. Vincent Scognamilio. All right. Mitch Stevens. Probably the most notable name so far, Mitch Stevens. Do we have uh, like an overly familiar name would be fun though. Give me, give me another Rantanen, just at center, you know. As we get to look at the the who's that of juniors past, like Hayden McCool. Anybody? Dosti. All right. The center position. Bronson Beaton. It's a shame he wasn't an enforcer. Yeah, right now, center, it's not looking too good. If we're being honest. I was hoping for a little bit more. Anthony Beauvillier. Okay. Again, he's probably trash in this game, but... Anthony Beauvillier. That's the type of name value that we're looking for. Let's see. There's a lot of names to sort through, man. There's a lot. Every Oh my god, your eyebrows are just stunning. Antoine Marcou. Gignac, Anthony Arshad. Pain. Matt Alfara. Have you seen the Doc Broad Street Bullies? Uh, I think so. Hey, Adam Brooks. Um, maybe I haven't. Maybe it was on my list of ones to watch I didn't get around to. I genuinely can't remember. I can't imagine it wouldn't be a good one, though. Oh, the Jansen Harkins. Jaden Hobgawax. Dude, there's so many people to look through. This is insane. Oilers, what's up? Dryden Hunt. There's Braden Burke. I mentioned him earlier. Dude, this is just sent us Raphael LaFontaine for the final tie. <laughs> the Vickerman. Glenn Godden. I mean, there are some guys in this list that made the NHL, even if it was for a short amount of time, uh, including Alex True, who was with the Sharks, Lane Peterson. But for the most part, this is not seeing us come up with a ton of interesting names. Like when Sebastian Repo is one of the more interesting names. Or Jason Fuchs. Or at least I did, yeah. Damn, Tyler Soy. Dude, they loved giving Tyler Soy good ratings. I guess it wasn't this particular game. But uh, they kept him relevant. Wow, so yeah, those are 
Those are the centers, or lack thereof, because that wasn't overly impressive. Got Austin Wagner as a left wing. And someone who made the NHL, but nothing too crazy. Damn it. Tanner Janot. I highly doubt he is as good of a face puncher in this game as he is in real life, but shout out to Tanner Janot. Do we got anybody else? Levi Cable. Dawson Lee to Lee to Lee to Lee. Mads Eller. Okay. It's the entire QMJHL in one space. Boko Amama. Might have to draft Boko again. I don't know if he'll be any better in this game than he was last game. He wasn't good at all in the last game. Anybody else, please? Andre Kopta. It's good in the last game. Dominic Cahoon. I mean... <sighs> There's Miko Rantanen. We know we'll be taking Miko Rantanen. That's that's a guarantee. Mitch Skapsky. They're playing HL 50 on next year. It was mostly old gen. I did have it for both consoles, though. But yeah, this game sucked for online and franchise perspectives that it was a, a play it every once in a while type of thing. Oh my god, yes, that's who we were looking for. You know we'll have to take Jake DeBrusque if I have the picks. Um, but yeah, this game sucked in a lot of ways. So, uh, And there is indeed Sebastian Ajo. It's a good eye from earlier on. But yeah, for the most part, the online community, ESHL, it was, it was previous gen that people played on because that was basically the only way to play. So, Connor Brown, but not that one. Mitch Webb, Jack Webb, Davis Brown. Gotta, gotta, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Andrew Mangiapane. <sighs> all right. At least we're finding some names. That would be Sebastian Ajo, the center. Not the, not the good one. Tate Sagan. Jake Gilmore. Ryan Verbeek. Mason Marchman. I don't know if he'll be any good, but hey, he may have some marchments there. Michael Cramarosa. Justice Dundas. Sam LaBerge. How many more left wingers can there be? Jesus. There's so many. Hello, Michael Carcone was there. Sam Hod Hod. How many more dudes? Shout out to McSween. That's a good last name. McSween. Jeff Fiel. Dude, there's so many players. A Slater Doggett. Still a great name. There we go. All right. Well, we got time to look through the right wings. I won't have time to look through the defense before having to make the pick. It'll be close. Roadwall, Cole Sanford, Chad Butcher, Tyler Wall, John Martin. Do we have anybody else of uh, Jake DeBrusque, Miko Rantanen caliber? There will be familiar names, but I want more than familiar. I want good. Even if in-game they're trash. And odds are, they will be trash. Keanu Yamamoto, Kyler's older brother. Keegan Colasar, Stanley Cup champion, Keegan Colasar. Carcells, Petrus Palmu. I guarantee Palmu will have a decent rating for me in a custom roster in the future. It's a guarantee. I mean, how do I not take him this time? He turned into an absolute monster in that last franchise mode. Matt Santos. All right. Right wing is not looking as fruitful. Connor Garland. Leafs legend. Soon to be Leafs legend. 
I'm trying. Anytime I see Connor Garland, by the way, I always, I'm always just like, Red Wings legend. Like, just trade him. Because all, all we've heard since the Canucks have acquired him is, oh, oh they're going to trade him. So do it. I try to jinx it to make it happen. So we picked the Leafs today. Shout out to Josh Shatford. Hell of a name. Hell of a name. Um, Morgan Adams, my son, former uh, Maine Mariner. <laughs> Kassan. I thought it was cussing for a minute. Then there's the Scott, Charlie Grosskamp. They refuse to give him top six minutes despite being great analytically. Yeah, but the Canucks are winning a lot, so it's a good decision. I might have time to look through the defense here if I'm fast. I doubt it. Devontae Stevens. Devin Fafad. Andrew Nielsen. Do we have... Like that one great defenseman that I'm going to be glad we looked for. Brendan Gooley, not quite that. Not quite. Kirk Bear. Ethan's brother or just another defenseman named Bear? Thomas Shabbat. Hot Sam Bacho himself. Thomas Shabbat. What a man. What a man. Anybody else? I don't have too much time left. Just under two and a half minutes. So I will continue to not see. Noah Juleson was there. Kevin Davis. Anybody, anybody, please. Let there be somebody else that's half decent. I'm begging you. Give me another hot Sam Bacho. Going to Siegenthaler. All right. Best defense defenseman. I'm shocked he's not an OFD in this game because of how they used to rate people. We have anybody else. And there are guys like Connor Hobbs that were notable in the AHL, but can't wait for him to go to Saudi Arabia and pretend it's not about the money. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. At least have the one. Brennan Manel. Minnesota legend. Hey, both Sebastian Ajos are in this draft. <laughs> Perfect. Sammy Niku is in this draft. How much time do we got left? 115. Thomas Schmitch. Oh boy. Oh boy. Running out of time, out of time. Run. I didn't think we'd use the full 13 minutes, but here we are. Kyle Capobianco. There's a dude whose last name was Laser. That's dope. Darren Radish. Max Iafredi. Brandon Crawley. How many more dudes can there be? And even if it auto picks at this point, I'm not that upset. How many more dudes can there be that are projected undrafted? Alex Carrier. How much further can this possibly go? Shit. All right, let's just leave it. Uh, 23 seconds. Left wings. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a race against the clock. It's a race against the clock. Can he find Miko Ranton in time? Yes, he can, with seven seconds to spare. Welcome in fourth round pick, Miko Ranton. Ridiculous. Our next user pick, round number five. You know what's got to be. I ended up with two out of three of them. From the 2015 first round. And we are going to go with Jacob DeBrusque. It's a must. So we go for Baby DeBrusque. Uh, we have another pick in the fifth round. And with that, we will go for the defenseman. Hot Sam Bacho. Thomas Shabbat. Go with the Shabbats. Into the sixth round. We do have another pick. We will go for Sebastian Ajo. Was a winger. 
as opposed to a center. I have no idea how many more picks we have. We do have another pick in the sixth round. Uh, let's go to right wings. And we will look for the only right wing I really had on my list, and I went too far. Connor Garland. Again, most of these guys will end up being trash, but at least we got to look through an old draft. That's always fun. Seventh round. Take both? Well, I will. I will take both Ajos. Just you watch. There you go. We have Sebastian Ajos. We do have another pick here in the seventh round. Um, I didn't really list out goalies, so it's fine. Uh, let's go for Anthony Beauvillier, just because he'll be right here. A bunch of hoes. A bunch of a hoes. Fair enough. Um, honestly, the AI can pick from here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> there wasn't anybody else where it's like, I need this person. So, that is it for our first draft. Those are our initial draft picks joining us here in Arizona. We're going to suck for a long time. 